Viewer discretion is advised. Previously on Lux Queen. Welcome to my I used to be a movie star. I used to be in a girl group. I know what you want to hear, but the truth is, the plane crashed, my soccer team died, and I starved and slayed for 19 months until they finally found me. Now there's only one thing I'm absolutely certain of. I am unconditionally and irrevocably a glamorous angel bitch slut. What's up? It's been like two years since I made a video. Everything you thought you knew is out the window. From Springfield, Missouri, but right now I live in Los Angeles. Feel like a brand new I'm going to be in Sugar Tank on Saturday with the House of Avalon. It's one of my favorite events and I'm super excited to be doing it with my sister, Crystal. Back in March, I saw a double feature of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert and Tu Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar at the new Beverly Cinema. I'd never seen either one of those before. It was so cool watching them on a big screen as if they had just come out. My favorite of the two was Priscilla, which has a great soundtrack, including which I performed last month at the Toto Magazine party, and also which I decided to do for this month at Sugar Tank. I really wanted to make a new look for this show. This came to me as a perfect way to make something artsy that I would feel proud of, but is simple and achievable for all you following along at home. This is what it's based on, these outfits that the Abba girls wore. My initial design sketch was this panther. Just, I feel like I, I wasn't sold on it. But then I came up with <laughs> this. I don't know, I feel like it's just so me. This project is going to be no sewing. We're going to be breaking out the hot glue gun. Um, yeah. Come on, let's go! You'll need a white t-shirt. I got two for one at Michael's. Acrylic paint. You should probably use fabric paint, but I was lazy. Sharpies to do outline work. And gemstones for added sparkle. I think it's good to start a creative session with a warm-up project you can accomplish with not a lot of effort and get done quickly. Then you're going in already knowing you're a step ahead. I probably should have worked on stuff a little bit more throughout the week, but you know, it's get dusted girl energy to really put your all into it right before the show. I have to make the dress, paint the dress, stone the dress tomorrow wake up get cough style my wig do my makeup go to sugar tank and have the most fun i've dilly dallied enough i need to get started or i'm gonna run out of time and feel anxious i've got the shirt on a cardboard so it's stretched out and it doesn't bleed through when i paint it and I cut this fringe out of another white shirt. The shirt is just a tad too short. Then I sketched out the design with pencil, a choice I would later regret because I wouldn't be able to erase those lines without leaving smudges on the shirt. So I say freehand with Sharpie or you can use a marker that will wash out. Not being too... <clears throat> I don't know what color I want to make her hair, um, but 
I am so excited to glue the gemstones on. And I think I'm gonna paint some like scale details right here. <gasps> oh my God. Ooh. My pimple didn't disappear overnight. <laughs> I have a lot to do today. Uh, something to remember whenever you're working on a creative project is sometimes the best thing you can do is go to bed, take a break, step outside, watch some Witches of Salem. Even if you think that you don't have enough time or if you don't work on it right now, it's not going to get done. It's not going to be perfect. And come back to it the next day because I thought that what I was working on was so bad and I woke up and I looked at it over there. It's pretty fun. I think I'm gonna shower, go get some coffee, and then I'm gonna try and get- I decided yellow for her hair. Also, I added these scales and I'm waiting for the tail to dry and I'm gonna add some blue ones, but oh, it's so cute. With that, the dress was complete. Here's me fixing up this wig I've been wearing and wearing and re-wearing and re-wearing. I even fixed it up more after this video and it still looked a little rotted. But again, what do we say when we're being overly critical of ourselves and others? It's just cross-dressing. I did my makeup while watching Mamma Mia on Pirate Bay at 1.5x speed as a sort of timer for how long I wanted to take to get ready. Before I walked out the door, I added these zigzags for your pleasure and I was oh, I I'm going through pictures from that night, but in the background, if you look really close... Oh. 